This week, I want to try to get a stash bust done. I have these strips of fabric that came from making Halloween garlands several years ago, and I just haven't done anything with them since then. And there are quite a few of them, and I thought it might be interesting to see if I could make a petticoat out of it by sewing these strips together and then sewing them into a giant rectangle and then gathering it. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I think I'm going to start by taking these strips and joining them into rows of four. I think that's going to be nice and long enough for me. And I'm also not going to... I'm not going to seam them right sides together because that sounds like a hell of a lot of hemming. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to overlap the pieces and then I'm going to zigzag stitch with the machine until I have a bunch of strips and so then I'm going to do the same thing with all of the stripes. So I'm going to see how that goes. So there's part of me that thinks I'm amazing at picking very tedious projects, but it's also been less than an hour and I have all of these strips done, which makes me worry that there's just not going to be a ton of fabric, which I mean is probably going to be the case, but this is just... <sighs> I don't know. There's... it's experimental and then there's also... I don't know. It's supposed to be... I guess I'm imagining it as a Halloween petticoat because it's eventually just going to be striped like this. And I think that would look fun. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. But I'm done with all the yellow ones apart from a few scraps in the middle over there. And now I'm on to the orange ones. Okay, it's only been, it's been less than an hour and I have these strips all together, so now I'm going to start sewing them uh, in stripes, actual stripes. I forgot to mention earlier, I don't think I did this on purpose when I was making the garlands, but I ended up cutting some of them much thinner than the other, than other ones, and they were enough in similar thicknesses that I think there'll be a nice little variation in the stripes. So I think that kind of adds even more to the whimsy of this sort of Halloween petticoat. I think that will look decent. I just don't know how much I'm actually going to get out of this as far as <laughs> even a yard. I don't even know. But I'm interested to see. So let's go. <laughs> Okay, all the strips with orange and all of the orange strips have been used up, and uh, I just have yellow ones now, and I honestly don't know, 
and I honestly don't know um, how much I'm going to have, period, because there's maybe, like, I don't know, eight strips here or something. So, I don't even know how much of it's going to be here, but it's a fun experiment. It honestly feels like a speedrun sewing edition because I'm just trying to finish a project, even though it's probably not going to be great. Right now, it kind of feels like a trash, but that's okay. <laughs> and it's fun to kind of push the sewing machine a bit and see how fast I can go, so... the strips minus one. So now we can start getting an idea of what this is going to look like. And then I'm in the way. I don't know. This is kind of a neat effect. Maybe I just really want this to work out so I'm being super optimistic but who knows. I'm going to do orange on this side and then I'm going to do yellow on the back to secure both the seams. But I'm going to plan the rest of this out and then I'm going to start sewing it together, see if there's a pattern. Okay, we have equal pieces, uh, half orange, half yellow, and then just solid yellow two stripes. Uh, I don't think that this is going to fit around my butt right now, but I'm going to sew this together and see if it has a possibility. <laughs> if not, then we have a solid piece of fabric. This is not a yard. I don't know. It's not a yard. <laughs> but that's okay. I much prefer this being close to one piece of fabric rather than just stripes, so it's fine, it's fine. Experiments. All of these are sewn strips now, and when I had them overlapping, kind of how they would be if they were sewn, it was about 31 inches across, which definitely does not cover my butt, so I think I'm going to see if I can add some of these strips in the middle and just vary it up a little bit. Although I don't have a ton of strips left and I don't have... I mean this orange isn't matching this one and this yellow doesn't match this one so I don't know if I want to go down this route, but I want to make this a functional petticoat. Hmm. There's also those ends that could be cut off and probably stitched into a new strip. So I think I'm going to do that first and then I'm going to see about adding any other strips in if I want to. Oh well, I was hoping that there would be enough of this to make a big fluffy petticoat, but I don't think there will be. Still, it's a neat effect. I'm pretty happy even though it is janky. Um, I think cleaning up some of the threads and then getting the stitches on the back side will kind of give it a Frankenstein's monster texture, which might be neat, but we'll see. off the ends didn't yield a ton of fabric. I think I'm going to grab a couple stripes here, sew them together, 
maybe three at a time. So sadly my microphone stopped working here so I tried this on clearly is not fitting well Ugh. I'm pretty sure this is one of those projects that the further along I get the worse it is but I'm committed to finishing it it's fine I think I will I think I will add gores even though I think I want some gathering at the waist, for sure, but I do want to add some gores in here. Back up enough. I'm going to see if I can cut some relatively consistent shapes out of what's left of my black scrap pile, and then add those in. And then I might just need to put this thing together and see how bad it is. <laughs> Part of me is just really wondering if my imagination is broken because I thought this might look cool in my head and now I'm seriously doubting it. I'm going to finish it. I'm going to finish it. It's going to be what it is, even if it just ends up becoming scrap pile again. At least it's one piece of fabric, maybe. I practiced. That's the big takeaway from this. I practiced with my sewing machine, and I'm practicing filming, and that is the takeaway from this. Practice. It doesn't have to be good, you just have to practice. <sighs> Six pieces. They're not equal or regular, but I'm going to start. They're diamond shaped, which I. Maybe I could fold them. They're super wide. Um. Hmm. I could fold them. Enough of, I thought it'd be cool if I did a chevron sort of stripe, but I don't think that's gonna work. That might be a cool idea though. I don't think I have enough material to work with. Maybe? Mayhaps? I don't think I have enough. <laughs> that might be kind of cool though. If there's ever a situation where you're free sewing, this is the closest I've gotten. Okay, correction. I was going to put the gores in these are way shorter than I want them to be, which is part of my problem. But I was initially thinking something like this, which is ridiculous. So <laughs> I'm going back to leftover strips, and I might just build it out, kind of. Excuse me. It's like adding this piece on, and then 
maybe adding a corner piece like that and then adding another strip on Or just cutting it as... I think I'll add on strips and then cut them, cut the tops at an angle of the shorter strips and see how that looks, if it gives me enough of a flare. I don't know. I will have to do some gathering at the waist. And then with, with the leftover bits, I don't think I'll have enough to make a ruffle. But... I could attempt such a thing. The more I go into this, the more I'm just wondering what the hell is wrong with me. But again, it's practice. Again, trying it on after adding the stripes and it looks like garbage. So... I'm spending most of this time just wondering what I've done. So again, my microphone just was not picking up what I was, <laughs> Ori, was not picking up what I was saying. So I'm just frustrated because none of this is lying well. It's not enough fabric for a fluffy petticoat. And I'm seriously just wondering if it should even be a petticoat. And ultimately, I ended up deciding that I would just try to salvage this the best I can and cut it in half and turn it into a table runner instead because I want to finish a project but I don't want to make the worst petticoat in my existence right now so that's the change of plans <laughs> also Ori's the only cat that does this when I pet her butt it's just gonna pop up like that <laughs> Apparently, table runners measure differently because there are different tables in the world. Surprise, surprise. I'm just going, I measure the coffee table that I want this table runner to be for, and it is 50 inches in length, and this will be fine if I double it. So I cut this in half. And now I am trying to rectify the mistakes that I have made. And part of it is going to be sewing different pieces. Well, I think just possibly cutting out the gores that I put in altogether. I'm trying to make this as reasonably straight as possible. This is going to be difficult. Mistakes have been made, Ket! Yields! Well, it's all in one piece now. And not straight, especially 
down on this end. I think I'm going to leave it pretty much that width and then try to just carry it over this way, which might mean following this line down and then maybe using these pieces to augment these. I mean, that's a good thing about doing a very uh, quilted project, essentially. Didn't think I was making a quilt, but here we go. Sort of. <laughs> I have a lot of little bits to fix, especially on these pieces over here, since they're staying. And then I need to figure out how I'm going to finish it. Because I think I want it to be a little bit more sturdy, stiff perhaps. So I need to figure out a backing for it. Not to mention this is very ugly on the inside. <laughs> I was thinking initially that I would just sew the backs and have it come through, but I kind of like how this looks and I don't want to spend five more years on it. Hopefully it will look cleaner, much cleaner, when I get all of the loose threads out and uh, tuck in the holes and all those things. There are a couple of the black stripes that need to be, have need to have darts put into them to just help it to lie straight. Not that it's a big deal because it's a Halloween table runner. This is already, is already okay if it's messy and off kilter. And I'm glad I'm sta going through my stash and actually using stuff, although next time... Eh, I don't know. If you're experimenting, you can't really plan for this, but I will try to use material that is the same kind instead of this really almost flimsy polyester, stretchy polyester versus this is all cotton, and this is polyester that is closer to the cotton, but it frays a bunch of kits. Meow meow. Yes, you are. Very cute. Yes, you are. Very cute. So, I think I am going to go ahead and Trim this down. Hello, cat. This cat. Get it as straight as I can. And then... And then see what I can do about stiffening it. And then we'll figure out a binding situation. Good heavens. Look at this cat. Yes, you. You're such a goof. Yes, you. You know, I had all the good intentions of doing, doing stuff. Yeah, but yes, you. Very good. Yes, you. It's very good.
I finished the top side, stabilizing most of the super frayable polyester pieces. You are back. Yes, you are. Please don't die. Alright. This is what it's looking like. Including Ori's contribution. Like that. So, what is left is adding a backing piece, which is going to be that pile of cotton back there. And then I wanted to add some kind of padding, but I don't have any. And. Ori! Ori! Could you not? <sighs> So what I'm thinking instead is I have this ribbon of custom-made labels that you could order with, you know, custom-made with your name on it. Except I didn't order it, I just happened to get this in a bundle of Hello. I happened to get this... <laughs> You! Think. Think. Don't tear that up, please. That took a long time. Anyway. I think I'm going to use some of these strips in... on the black section, specifically. I'm just thinking of Pretty much just cutting them down, sewing straight across, only in the black sections, because those are the most fragile. <laughs> and <laughs> you tiny bot! Um, they're the most fragile, and that way I get to use up this ribbon that I had no idea what I was going to do anything with. So that's my plan. day, same dress from yesterday. Last night, before I got too tired, I went ahead and sewed on uh, the ribbon backings to the black stripes and had this piece of flimsy, uh, I guess, bag material that you get from Urban Outfitters. It's like a little thinner. Anyway, um, I was also going ahead and, uh, wow, my brain. Uh, adding in some extra stabilization stitches so then just crumple up whenever I sew the backing on. So I need to finish doing that for these pieces because these are definitely going to flop about. And then I need to cut out the backing piece out of that pile of black cotton right there. I'm not, I've seen some table runner designs that have folded in or created points, triangle points, but I don't really want to do that. I think it will be fine just as it is. So I just think I'm going to have a giant rectangle and be done with it. And then I did have a momentary thought about adding tassels onto the corners, but I have a cap, so that is not going to happen.
the last few laps here. I pressed all of this and I thought I was going to do top stitching around the edges, but I don't really want to break up the nice color change that I've worked so hard to maintain. So instead, I'm going to close up the opening with a ladder stitch by hand, and it's only five inches, so it wouldn't be a problem. But I'm going to go ahead and top stitch in the black stripes with black thread so that there is some... Uh, I keep using stability as my word for today. There is some stability, and it doesn't just bunch up and become a weird tube worm later. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then... Hello, cat. Yes, you were. Hello. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I have just... Yeah, the ladder stitch, and there are a couple things that I know are going to be little touch-ups that I could do, but I want to see how this looks on the coffee table before packing up Halloween decorations up. So, I'm just going to do the top stitching, hello, hello, and close up the tube, and then be done. What is you doing? done. I'm going to press the seam and then I'm going to see what it looks like on an actual table. Huzzah! I wish my microphone hadn't crapped out and completely missed on everything I was saying. But anyway, it's done! It is the worst petticoat in existence! <laughs> My partner suggested that it actually looks like a cool corset, which I agree with, and I kind of want to do that as a future project with maybe a giant bow in the back or something. But as a table runner, it works pretty well. It is kind of wonky because of the gores I put in and then had to take out. Uh, one, si one side of it is way wavier than the other, but it's okay. It does have a nice drape to it, a nice heaviness. It feels like the polyester sections aren't just flimsy and going to fall apart, which is nice. So it, it turned out. It turned out pretty well. I'm happy I, I finished it, that I got practice. And as a Halloween decoration, it works It works really well. It matches the garlands that I have. And I'm really happy I got to use scrap fabric too. So it worked out. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, bye-bye.